it's a known ancient wisdom that is just coming back and being revealed today again in the world. What's the meaning of the name of Hashem? We already spoke about it, that the name of Hashem Yitbarach is Havaya Baruchu. Havaya means I'm gonna be. In the present, though, not in the future. He's telling you now, I'm with you. I'm gonna be there for you. That's the name of Hashem. That's the real meaning of the name of the Creator. That's when we were not allowed to pronounce that name, Yud K and Vav K together, we're not allowed to say it. We're even saying Yud K instead of saying the, or the letters Yud and then the letter Hey. We say K instead of saying Hey, because it's such a special name, such a spiritual name, such a unique name, such a wonderful, great name with so many powers and can affect so, so, so in such a great and powerful way that we're not sure that we, actually we sure that we're not able to handle that and to pronounce it with the right purest intention. So we're not even starting mentioning the name of, of the Creator. So we're watching our mouth and we're saying it in a way that everyone will understand. We're calling Him, Hashem, the name. So, what is that name? The meaning of the word, the name, of His name, when you call Him, is actually that He is answering to you, I'm going to be. I'm going to be there for you. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. I'm going to be there for you. I'm with you. That's what He's answering. You call Him, in which name? The name is answering you. He says what? What He's saying? If you call Avraham, so the being of Avraham, the meaning of the name Avraham is coming for your help. If you now pray and you say, please, the God of Avraham, help me. I need your help. I need your support. I need you to be there for me. So what is the God of Avraham? What does it mean? Avraham, he was serving God in the way of kindness, in the way of, of kindness. So the Mida of kindness will be revealed on you when you're praying to be saved by the name of Avraham. When you call the locate Yitzchak, the God of Yitzchak, so the God that was leading Yitzchak, that was serving God in judgment, in power, in gvura, so that power, that midah, will come and protect you in the time you'll need it. So every time you use a certain name, you call that kind of, let's call it energy, to come and to help you, to come and to back you up. So when you call Moshe, Moshe will come. When you call Hashem, Hashem will come. When you call a name. But what is the name? All of the time we're talking about how we should find the Creator. And the way to do it, I'm always telling you and guiding you, and that's what we see that the Torah is telling us all of the time, that we should find ourselves. That we should understand what is our inner connection. We're talking about it all of the time. That to know Hashem, really, you should look inside. Because what that we received from the Creator to connect ourselves to Him, through is our soul. So the spiritual soul that we have, that's the channel, that's the window, that's the door that we have. Those are the gates of tshuva, of the answer. When we look inside and we do tshuva, we come back to the name. Which name? The name is telling us, I'm going to be there for you. For you. So which name is it? It's your name. What does it mean? It means that you need to know yourself and then you're going to find out who is Hashem.